winter concert. I'm Paul Zuckerman. This is the uh, Fall 23 Jazz Combo and uh, we're really happy to be here tonight and because uh, otherwise we'd just be playing for ourselves. <laughs> so we're really really glad that you're all here. It's a great audience and um, I appreciate, uh, especially appreciate this section over here dressing up. <laughs> yeah. We're getting into the holiday spirit. Um, that first song was a Billy Strayhorn composition called uh, Take the A-Train, or as we say in Sheboygan, Take the Train, eh? <laughs> I'll 
apparently, uh, it's supposed to be a true story, that uh, when Billy Strayhorn first met Duke Ellington, he was going to Duke's uh, 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 place in, uh, in Harlem, and um, he said, well, I, how do I get there? And he said, you must take the A train to get to Sugar Hill in Harlem. And that, that became, you must take the A train. That, that, that became the song. And he wrote it on the train on the way to Duke's crib. So, Our next song is a Charlie Parker song. Charlie Parker is one of the um, uh, founding presidents of uh, Bebop. And this is Yardbird Suite. Does anybody tell me what a Yardbird is? Chicken. Yeah, that was the, the Charlie Parker's nickname was Yardbird, and because uh, he ate so much chicken, he ate chicken every day, and uh, 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 that sh eventually was shortened to Bird. You know, hey, Bird, Bird is going to be playing with Miles. You know, yeah, dig it. <laughs> so this is Yardbird Sweet. What?
That's uh, Anthony on trombone. Yeah. Jason Alto. Fred on baritone sax. That, that is a normal sax. It, 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 it didn't just like drop it in it. <laughs> Johnny on drums. Paige on the bass. I'm going to slow it down and uh, do a song, uh, an early bebop song from the uh, mid 40s, uh, written by Cootie Williams and uh, Thelonious Monk. This is Round Midnight. It's one of the saddest songs ever. I, I might need a minute. <laughs> it begins to tell round midnight, round midnight. I do pretty well till after sundown. Supper time, I'm feeling sad. That's sad. You can't, you can't recover from that. That can be a minute. Two, three, four. <laughs>
next one is a um, Sammy Nestico a composition. Uh, he was best known for uh, being tied with the Count Basie Orchestra for about a decade and um, did the uh, classic arrangements of so many of the Basie band uh, hits from the late 50s uh, through the 60s and uh, mid 70s. Um, this is from the Basie play, I'm sorry, the Basie Straight Ahead album. This is Switch in Time. And at no time does it ever switch in time, though. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, 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 I want to, I want to, to, uh.
do another Count Basie song, but this was from a, another composer uh, that was also closely identified with the Basie band, Neil Hefty. Um, I was kind of a weird kid. Suspend your disbelief. <laughs> and uh, my first album was Basie Plays Hefty. And um, Neil Hefty, most people know him because he wrote... did the music for the Batman TV series, and he wrote a lot of other music, but this is one that he's particularly well known for. It's a drum feature, um, and that was on Basie Plays Hefty. Uh, this is cute, and we're gonna feature Johnny on brushes. <laughs>
putting the, uh, the set list together, and uh, Anthony recommended, he said, you know, we're not really doing any Christmassy stuff, any holiday stuff, and, uh, you know, it's still kind of great pumpkin season. <laughs> you know, my favorite uh, Vince Guaraldi uh, tune, you know, we all know, you know, and, and, and that stuff, and the, the skating music, you know, and, and all that, but he said, my favorite is the great pumpkin waltz, and it's, the concert isn't too far away from uh, Halloween, and I said, <laughs> yeah, man. So uh, this is uh, our arrangement of the Great Pumpkin Waltz. This is based on a true story about this pumpkin. That, well, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you about that later. <laughs> song um, in the uh, 60s we started uh, to see jazz resemble uh, more forms of rock and roll in a little bit in terms of less stuff that swung and more stuff that's uh, straight eight you know rock beats it was also influenced by the, uh, uh, the the huge explosion of Brazilian music uh, the bossa nova and the uh, samba in the late 50s and uh, this is Herbie Hancock's Maiden Voyage. Ready? One, two, one, two, three, and. <laughs>
Thank you. Uh, we're going to get a little funky with you. Uh, this is a Horace Silver tune called The Jody Grind. And I don't know what that means. <laughs> Thank you. 
going to finish up with a uh, George Duke composition that was recorded uh, in the 70s by a Brazilian trombone player named Raul de Souza, and he played an instrument that was, uh, it's called a super bone, and it's a um, combination valve and slide trombone. So it's kind of cheating, but uh, 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 he was really big for about 15 minutes. <laughs> and had two or three really uh, heavy selling albums uh, here in the United States and uh, then went, went back to Brazil, I think. And he like bought a photo mat or something. <laughs> but uh, this is Daisy May. Four bars of me, eight bars of us. There we, there we come in. <laughs> Thank 
Jazz Ensemble in just one second.
showed up looking like this, so <laughs> what are you going to do? Here's a, uh, a medley arranged by Tina Chin. Uh, I, I know you'll know all of the songs, and if you want to sing along, I don't care.
acapella song. That doesn't mean it's from Mexico. That means it's done without the company. <laughs> Music, especially, you know, you've got, you know, some the beautiful ballad stuff, Christmas cards, have all, and then you have uh, Happy Holiday, Child, and you know, there's not much in between. You know, every now and then you get a pop song that doesn't make you crazy, you know, but um, uh, we decided to uh, at least go with uh, one of the uh, best known up tempo songs, but in a little bit different style. This is a 50s doo-wop version of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And it uh, features our basses and, uh, and, uh, and our Fred. <laughs> Fred. Fred is his own section. <laughs> Any of you know Fred?
from the musical Higher and Higher, but most people know it as uh, recorded by Miles Davis. This is a uh, um, kind of an introspective ballad. It never entered my mind.
next uh, song is a Barry Gordy song. You recognize it from uh, um, the Jackson Five, and Mariah Carey, and us. <laughs> song. Uh, needs no introduction. You all know it. Feel free to bob your heads and throw the horns and whatever else uh, you're going to do. Um, we're going to feature uh, Colin O'Dwani on uh, guitar. Um, he, uh, he's been singing it with us all semester and then uh, yesterday he, he came and said, you know, I, I can play the guitar. So. <laughs> oh, you can, can't you? 
How come you've made me do it for the last eight weeks? <laughs> Matter of fact, he could play it with or without the antlers. I've heard of
Thank you very much. Uh, I uh, want to quick thank our campus uh, CEO, Jamie Schramm, and uh, TV8 for being here to videotape, and uh, our, our department head, Dr. Christy Talbot, who's, uh, who's in Cognito tonight. And thank all of you for being here tonight. We're very uh, grateful that you came. And um, uh, quite a few of these people are uh, community members. So if you want to sing and uh, you want to uh, come and join us, please do. We'd love to have you. Count, reach out to me and find out how you can do that. But thank you very much, and we'll see you uh, in uh, April or May. <laughs>